I need to talk to her. These pigs look hungry. Welcome to my empire, traveler. I am Etzemperus, Kirki of the Oceanids. You... live here? Where are my manners? You must be weary after your long journey. There's some wine in my hold if you'd fetch it for us. I'm a bit indisposed at the moment. I don't know what evil ritual you performed on Lida. But I'll kill you for it, witch! My subjects will protect me. Kirki! I will rip you apart and feed you to your animals! How dare you challenge an empress! About my leader, do you have any news? I found this bracelet. And a lot of pigs. I can explain. Lida had it and was transformed into a pig by Kirki. When she was turned back into a beautiful woman, she gave this to Kirki to remember her by. Right as always, old friend. Which means we're one step closer to finding Lida, I think. You think correctly! The gods would never lie! Aside from Volus, and the party, but never mind them! All that for a bracelet, and a loss, and some spices. 
But look! I know this bracelet too well. The women of the Siege Plains wear them. These spices are native to the lands of Demeter. And this Avlos is marked by a craftsman in the Parnes Mountains. They're all from Attica. The cave! They're all around the one known as the entrance to the underworld. It can't be a coincidence. Is that where Lida is? There's only one way to know. Let's go. Most would have called me crazed, but not you. You truly are my best friend. It's nothing. Now, let's find your wife. So what does Lida look like? She was the most beautiful woman I've ever known. Beautiful dark hair and skin. Her green eyes sparkled like jewels. And when she drank... Sandra. Lida? Stop! I'll kill you if you come any closer. Who sent you? Belenos? Adiglis? Relax. We're here on our own. You haven't aged a day. Is this the underworld? Lida, it's me! Varnavas! That was my father's name. I never told it to anyone. Father? Young one, please. What was your mother's name? The same as mine, Lida Avitica. You were right, old friend. Lida survived, but not the way your visions told you. This is your daughter. Impossible. You have no proof. Young one, a lifetime ago, your mother and I sailed side by side. 
The night I lost my eye, a tempest overwhelmed us and ran us into the rocks. Lida was so brave. She roped together some of the splintered hull. I held her and I said, don't stop paddling. Until you reach the shore. Oh, she, she told you this story. Good. After all this time, Matter said you were a king who died fighting the Idra. You need to know. Matter, she's... I understand. We'll grieve her together. I hate to interrupt, but Lida, you did threaten us with a blade. And there were bodies. After Matter died, I took over the farm. Ever since, suitors have tried to marry me for my fortune. When that didn't work, they decided it would be easier to kill me for it. You've been defending yourself. Let us help. These kind of people don't stop until they have what they want. You mentioned two names? Pelenos and Antigles. They both live nearby. I can show you where. Let's go together. Ah, with you by my side, we'll be unstoppable. Right. Together. Into battle! My mother's farm and my life are safe, with all my heart. Thank you, both of you. And thank you for making this old man happy again. Now, about that wine! So now that you have your life back, what will you do with it? Honor my mother, protect our farm and our fortune. I was hoping you'd join your old pater on the Adrestia. The gods sent me a sign by bringing you back to me to save this place. I can't dishonor them and matter by leaving. You're right. This land needs you. Pater, our farm is yours. One day, when you've sailed the world and want a stable home, you will have one here. But unless Demeter herself burns these silos down, I know I'm acting in the will of the gods. You all right? She's as strong as her mother. I couldn't be more proud. I only wish she'd change her mind. Maybe she will. In the meantime, whenever we sail past these lands, Let's make it a point to stop in and say here. 